And welcome back to the R. John Book Fieldhouse here at Concordia University, Wisconsin. Again, tonight's game between the Concordia University Falcons and the Marion University Sabres. Just after the, as they now announce the starting lineups, uh, it looks like there's also some scratches for, for Marion. It shouldn't be, not the players that will make a huge difference, but Rashid, Rashad Wahab and Dickie Kanar are going to be out of tonight's game uh, due to injury. So we were missing those two players. And it's really actually, you know, you look at just on the total face of it, you look at a roster the size of Marion's compared to a roster the size of Concordia's, obviously advantage Concordia with being able to run out five fresh guys because Marion, without those two, is down to about 10 to 12 players. They really only play seven guys. So they really, this could be, you know, one of those games where you see a very easy rotation by the Marion coach, Mark Boyle, where he just plays basically his top seven because we don't see, outside of the top seven players for Marion, you don't see a whole lot of players actually playing a lot of minutes for the Sabres. Well, the Sabres can get other players and get deep into their rotation, Bill, in a pinch here. They have done that in the season, but as you said, they have a core seven. Sean Cassidy, blessed with a very a team with a wide variety of talents, can dip in at least six, seven onto his bench, and that is on an off night. So it's going to be interesting to see how Mary manages to keep up with the Concordia team that has that many people to go to. If you're just joining us, some of the keys to tonight's game are going to be really the size versus speed, as Nathan had mentioned. It's going to be the size of Concordia versus the speed of Marion University. Marion shooting very well from behind the three-point line so far this year. Good for second in the conference at 37% compared with Concordia's 12th. So it's really a game, you know, last Saturday against Aurora when you saw them attempt 22 three-pointers completely out of Concordia's game plan to shoot that many threes in a game. They like getting to the lane, they like getting to the free throw line, even though they don't shoot particularly well. And they will, again, try to get back to that game plan against a much smaller Marion team. Well, going into Aurora Bell, best team in the South, the South Division, one of the things that Coach Sean Cassie spoke to me about before this game was that he was pleased with their performance that Saturday, but he wasn't entirely satisfied with it. They played very even with a team like Aurora, but they did allow that gap where they fall behind 11, and playing even after you fall behind 11 still means you're down by 11. It's going to be interesting how they see you play against the Marion here. I think Accordia is going to try to attack early and often, hammer it inside, and try to build that lead early as we've seen them do in the past during their home contest. They're trying to build a comfortable lead and just hold the other team at bay. We're happy you're with us here for tonight's game, and we are ready for the tip-off. Tip up and back to Donaldson, and Concordia controls the tip. Donaldson outside right gets a pick from Bowers. Looking to go inside. Nothing there. Give back to Bowers. Now back to Donaldson. Donaldson dribbles left. Give to Pace. Pace between the circles. Looking from inside for Zelensky. Ball almost at about saved by Zelensky to Jackson. Jackson out to Bowers. Bowers looking to go inside. Up and good. Malcolm Bowers for 2 2 0. Concordia. Good court awareness by the Falcons. We'll not talk about Steve Zelensky. A lot of people seem to forget that Brian Jackson's the other big man inside, and he makes plays happen too. Benversi between the circles. Give to Kozlowski. Back to Stecker. Now to Benversi on the left. That is Keller. Excuse me. Keller long too. No good. Rebound. Tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Marion. That air ball was because Steve Zelinski flew out there. He's intimidating slightly either way, but good job there by Ronald Donaldson. Concordia already denying Mary in the shot very early in the contest. Benversi with the ball. He's the leading scorer. Give to Stecker. Stecker dribbles at 15. Looking inside. Give to Koslowski. Ball blocked by Zelinski. Ahead to Donaldson. Donaldson give to Bowers. Bowers straight up. No! Give off to Jackson for the easy deuce. Concordia really likes to move the ball fast, and you got to appreciate how the Concordia Falcons, all five of them, know exactly where to put the basketball on the fast break. Stecker brings up, calling the offense out. Dribbles left, give to Kozlowski at 15. Nowhere to go. Give back. Now that's Kozlowski, excuse me. Give to Stecker, inside. Looking for Keller. Keller moving in, no, no shot, and a foul on Bowers. Foul trouble beginning a little early here for Concordia. Hopefully not too much there. 
Bowers got a little aggressive there on the t on the touch. And Cordy, as I said, trying to bl deny every shot they can here. And also, Maria Mary can't start their stroke. Valicki, a long two, good, and it's 4-2. Concordia, we're about a minute and a half into the game. Donaldson outside right, guarded by Stecker. Give to Bowers. Excuse me, Pace. Now to Jackson. Jackson to Bowers. Outside left. Give to Zelensky. Way outside between the circles. To Donaldson. Now to Pace. Pace trying to look inside for Zelensky. Nothing there. Pace dribbles around. Inside of 15. Into the lane. Trying to go up. And no good. Rebound to Zelensky. Shot up. And it's a jump ball. They're going to call the, the block and jump. And it'll be Marion basketball. Cody Balecki may not have the size of Steve Zielinski, but he definitely has the hops, Bill. He got up there and caused the jump ball. Marion definitely not a physically imposing basketball team. Stucker outside right. Now dribbles back left, looking for some room. At 15 feet, stops and gives to Keller. Keller along to no good, air ball. And the ball will go out of bounds to Concordia. Mary had to find their shooting confidence here early, Bill. Concordia, as I said, they're playing a, a pretty solid mix of perimeter defense, and it looks like a help man to keep the big man Zelensky down in the middle. Pace to Jackson between the circles. Jackson give to Donaldson. Donaldson to Pace outside right. Always trying to look into Zelensky. Give to Jackson now to Pace. Now into Jackson. Nice look. No good. Too hard off the backboard. Rebound to Marion. Jackson turned a very awkward left-handed layup there. Not his strongest suit, Bill. Kozlowski, outside left. Looking now, Keller. Keller trying to drive down the lane. Might have been a block, but no foul called, and Jackson collects the steal. Here comes Donaldson. They've got numbers. Pace, nothing doing on the inside. Pace, ball stripped away. Now give back to Jackson. Jackson, long two, no good. Rebound to Marion. Cordia being beaten there on the rebounds there. They got a little too spread out there for their own good, Bill. 16.40 left. 4-2 Concordia. Koslowski fires up a long three. Good. 5-4. Marion takes the lead. Letting Koslowski get that look is the last thing Concordia needs right now, Bill. They need to keep that perimeter defense tight. So far, a very tight man-to-man. -man. A lot of help to try to keep Zelensky down low for Concordia. Jackson with the ball between the circles. Give to Bowers. Bowers inside, back to Jackson. Jackson, turnaround, jump shot. Good! Brian Jackson puts Concordia back in the lead, 6-5. Brian Jackson very comfortable with his jump shot. One of the better jump shooting shooters in this team, Bill. That mid-range jump shot is his bread and butter. Benversi has the ball outside right. Will fire that up. Now trying to go to the lane. But now he stops at the ball and calls timeout. So he went to the floor. Pace quick to the angle. Made Benversi fall to the floor, and he gets a timeout call. Marion here doing their best against the Concordia defense. Concordia not really found their shooting stroke here. They had a good plays on defense on the fast break. The fast break's where they made the majority of their points here. But I think Coach Sean Cassidy would like his team to settle down a little bit, work on the clock, and try to get a good shot in there from mid-range. Nice play by Pace there to cut off the angle for Conversi, who was trying to drive baseline. 6-5, Concordia leads, 15-57 left in the first half. So we are early. And Concordia leads back on the floor here for the Falcons. It'll be Pace, Jackson, Zelensky, Bowers, and Donaldson for the Sabres. It is Koslowski, Mark Keller, who now checks into the game, along with Velicki, Stecker, and Benversi. Stecker with the ball. Give to Benversi. Benversi at about 24 feet. Give to Koslowski. Ball tipped away from Stecker. Now to Koslowski. Seven on the shot clock. Kozlowski drives left, loses the ball. Jackson collects, ball knocked out of bounds. It will be Concordia basketball. That's an excellent defense there by Brian Jackson, pushing very net, very comfortable team on the inside there, pushing him around, using a superior size, forcing the turnover. Donaldson to bring the ball up. Zelensky trying to set some picks outside high. Donaldson, a lot of room. Picks up his dribble and gives the pace. Pace driving at 15. Give to Jackson. Didn't set it to Zelensky. Nice touch pass. Ball. Ooh. Ball stuck in the rim. And it'll be a jump ball possession to Concordia. 
Not the most dignified way for a stoppage of play there, Bill. Nice look there by Concordia about Zelinski. You have to give Cody Vlecki credit. He's making Zelinski shoot at some very awkward angles for the big man. Vlecki and Keller making Zelinski work. Pace at about 17 feet. Shot up, no good. Rebound to Jackson. Nice board. Ball blocked, though, on the putback, and it will stay here at Concordia. There's Vlecki yet again anticipating there. Brian Jackson, way to get in there for the rebound, but Vlecki, they're playing double pull defense on whatever block Steve Zelinski is playing on. Bowers takes the inbound, give to Donaldson. Donaldson to Pace. Pace fires up a wide open three. No good. Rebound to, will go out of bounds to Marion. Shaping up to be a very defensive contest so far, Bill. Both teams just kind of trying to wait it out to go for their shot, but it's not, not really falling for either team here. Stecker, outside left. Give to Keller. Keller to Koslowski. Koslowski fires up another three. No good. Rebound to Bowers. Bowers will push. Here comes Concordia. Donaldson. At 17, now works inside, up and under, and good! Ryan Donaldson makes it an 8-5 Concordia lead. Well, if there's any player on Concordia's roster who can match the speed of Marion, it's Brian Donaldson. Stecker, outside the three-point line. Give the Benversi outside left. One of the more dangerous players. Give the Keller. Keller back to Stecker. Guarded by Jackson. Now inside to Benversi, almost stolen by Bowers. Stecker now with Donaldson back on him. Now guarded by Zelensky. Now O.U. Stecker went right around everyone. Jackson with a push foul, and De Stecker will go to the line for two. Jackson there got a little over enthusiastic. He saw he saw the shooter went up there, went up. It's a point of those plays you want to go straight up here. You have to give Concordia credit here. It's only their second team foul. Alex Stecker at the line. His first shot up, and it is no good. 85% free throw shooter on the season. It looked like on that final play, too. Zelensky had hedged out on that on that pick and then really just hedged off of it and, and Stecker went right around it. So it's Steve Zelensky not playing in his comfort zone here. He's being double teamed here, Beer Boca before. He's playing against players he's not exactly matched up evenly with. As Stecker makes his second, Keith Kaufeld checks into the game for Concordia as well into the game as Mike Keller. So we have, it looks like both Keller boys on the floor as Keller checks in for Velicki. So when, Vel when it looks like when Zelensky leaves the floor, Velicki will also get a bit of a break. Pace, call foul between the circles. Give to Donaldson, now to Bowers. Bowers looking for Jackson. Jackson posting up on Keller. That's Mark Keller. Jackson looking for Bowers. Bowers dribbling inside, ball knocked away from him and out of bounds. That was knocked away by Jake Coonan, the only senior on this team from Combined Locks, Wisconsin. That was good defense but there by Kudin. Avoided the reach foul by just sticking a hand out there. Koffelt, turn around, good! Keith Koffelt with a nice jump hook. 10-6. The freshman Koffelt is being groomed as the big man, one of the next big men for Concordia. He's already showing a lot of promise this early in the season. Benversi, give to Kudin. Now to Keller. Keller guarded by Kaufeld and a foul on Kaufeld on the push off. Hand check there by Kaufeld. A little body bump there, but he put his hand down there. They're going to call it every time you put the, your lower hand down there in the player's waist. Scholes and Kegley into the game, checking in for Bowers and Donaldson for Concordia. Coonan into Keller, back right back to Coonan. Wide open, three, no good. Air ball. Rebound to Jackson. Jackson and Caulfield will be met in the middle now. Scholes wide open up the floor. Give back to Pace. Pace might have walked, but they don't call it. Give back to Scholes. Scholes, Caulfield. Near the three-point line outside right. Looking for some room. Give to Jackson. Jackson, a 15-footer. Nothing but net. Brian Jackson. And it's a 12-6 Concordia lead. Jackson, once again, the most crazy, most comfortable. That mid-range shot right on the top of the key. Outside left, that's Koth. Give to Keller. Keller, nobody around him. Goes inside. Give back to Koth. Nice pass. Up and under. No good. Rebound to Jackson. Might have been a foul. Nothing called. Kegley ahead to Pace. Pace has Jackson trailing. Now give to Koth. Koth a wild shot off the backboard. No good. 
Rebound to Coonan and Marion and they will push. Stecker, right down the lane, give to Keller, now outside. Coonan has that one, Stecker back inside. Dribble drive up, no good. Rebound to Kegley. Kegley up the floor quickly, give to Caulfield. Caulfield to Jackson, he'll fire up another three. No good, rebound to Stecker. Smallest guy on the floor gets the rebound. Quickly up ahead, but Stecker overthrew everybody. Out of bounds to Concordia. Concordia's defense really talking here, Bill. And of course, Concordia's rebounding ability also telling the big story here. They've out-rebounded Marion on their own defensive end the entire time here today. And that is it's not a high-scoring game for the Falcons either, but Marion has yet to sniff, sniff double digits. Ellen Solovic into the game for Stecker on that throw. Jackson outside left. Looking for someone that is open. Give to Noah Kegley. Kegley guarded one-on-one. -on -one. Now inside to Pace. Pace looking for some room. Up, no good, but a foul. Pace looked like he might have pushed off a little bit there, but he got away with that. Alan Solvik with the foul, and Pace goes to the line for two. Neither of these teams, very strong free throw shooting teams, Bill. There's a lot of room for improvement on both sides here, so. But so far, that has been a very foul happy game. Three fouls for Concordia, and that's the first for Marion. Pace, one of the better free throw shooters on the team. First shot is up, and it is good. 13-6, Concordia leads with 11.52 left in the first half. Into the game is Bubakar Kamari checking in for Brian Jackson. Pace, second shot for the senior from Milwaukee. Up and good. 14-6 as Pace checks out to the, of the game in favor of Alcal Fell. So a lot of uh, brotherly connections here tonight between the two teams. Four pairs of brothers between the two teams and three for Concordia. Coonan looking to get the ball in and does to Keller. Keller back to Coonan now. Give to Koth. Solovic to bring the ball up between the circles. Give to Keller. Shot up and it is good. Excuse me, that was Brad Koth with the shot. 14-8, Marion. Concordia. They have a foul inside, off the ball. That's Keller with the foul, Mark Keller. With the bump on Kamara. His first. Scholl's looking to get the ball in. Give to Caulfield outside left, or excuse me, right on the baseline. Now swing to Al Caulfield. Caulfield dribbles back between the circles. Looks now, gives to Kegley, who gives to Kamara. Kamara looking inside, nothing there. Now stops his dribble outside left to give to Scholl's. Scholl's looking for some space. Scholl's up, and good, and a foul! Mark Scholl's a little line for the extra on the foul call. On Mike Keller. Mark Scholl's one of the younger players on this team Very who's already beginning to show some promise. He makes things happen out there coming off the bench, Bill. Just in the few games that we've called together, Scholl's has made leaps and bounds of improvement. His yeah. shot is up and no good. Well, Sean Cassidy, the coach, has said several times that the depth is their key there. Mark Scholl's is one of those players who has stepped up when the Falcons needed a little extra push when they're in foul trouble. A lot of bumping going on, and Keith Caulfield will get the foul call. That'll be his second. So he will check out of the basketball game, and back comes Zielinski. Volicki also into the game for Marion. Caulfield out of the game after the bump, and, a, and really a necessary foul, about 23 feet away from the basket. So far, the fouls for Concordia, Bill, have been mostly just being overly aggressive on the defensive end. Volicki looking to go up, now give back. Give to Kuhn, Kuhn at 15 feet, shot up, and it is good. Some good jump shooting so far by Marion as Kegley brings the ball up. Looking for some space. Give to Caulfield. That is Al Caulfield. Get back to Kegley. Kegley dribbling left. 
Looking inside. Nice pass to Kamara. Back out to Caulfield. Caulfield fires on open three. Good! 19-10. Concordia stretches the lead to nine with 10 minutes left in the first half. Exactly what Concordia needed to do to get their shooting stroke on today. Moving the ball very well. Looking for the open shot and using the clock. It's going to be a key down the stretch here for Concordia. Really nice passing on the last set. Inside. Keller looking for Velicki. Velicki might have double dribbled. Now he might have traveled. And a three-second call. So pick your turnover. Velicki just did it on that possession. Concordia pressure there, Bill. Concordia's been pressuring at the shot. And now Cody Velecki, who's been playing fine on his own end, is feeling the wrath of the Concordia Bigs. So a full timeout here called by Marion University. We have 9.50 left in the first half, and it is a 19-10 Concordia Falcon lead. So the, the jump shooting that we thought we would see out of Marion so far, definitely the, you know, the way that they're getting to the basket, a lot of slashing but also a lot of settling for jump shots, and, and Concordia will take it with the way that Marion's shooting so far today. Well, Concordia trying to pressure a team, which as we mentioned before, relies on their outside shooting here, forcing them to play inside. Marion's been game and been trying here, but Concordia has enough size and rebounding ability to where Marion has just gotten no second opportunities to attempt to bridge this gap here. And now Concordia's shooting stroke is finally starting to fall for him. Does it look like to you, Nathan, that Concordia is coming out in almost kind of a box type, you know, a help man, almost like a zone type defense where they have Zelensky just sitting in the middle when he's in and everyone else is kind of playing their area and just kind of help man on everything. Is that what it kind of looks like or is it just a straight man-to-man -man that they're playing out here so far? Well, it's definitely a help man-to-man -man on this one. Marion moves the ball well enough to that you don't want to shift to uh, play straight man-to-man -man against a team like Marion. So Concordia appears to be playing a help man where the bigs stay closer to the lane, where the faster players stay outside. And they're calling out the switches very well. It has gotten into some trouble there where they have fouled senselessly because their determination to keep the switches going but Concordia so far has laid off the straight up man to man to keep Marion off balance and so far their shooting attack has not been able to really warm up. Casey Kegley so far still in the game for Donaldson give the Shoals Shoals back outside Caulfield another wide open three good! Al Caulfield again for three! Al Caulfield doesn't see much minutes but he is a very good three point shooter once he gets his stroke down and so far he seems to be on tonight. Scholes with a beautiful steal out jump ball and a beautiful play by Scholes to try to wrestle that ball away. Mark Scholes here quickly becoming the hustle player off Concordia's bench. He may not be quite as big as Steve Zielinski, but darn if he doesn't try very, very hard. Kamara is still in the game. Usually you don't see Zielinski and Kamara at the same time. Kunin give to Velicki. Now to Solvik. Back to Kunin between the circles. He'll set it back up. Now to Keller. Keller with Zelensky peeling off of him. Give to Velicki. Guarded by Kamara. Velicki turnaround jump shot. Good. They made him work for it, but Velicki gets the two and it's 22 12. Concordia. Velicki is a very tough player. He sticks with it more than most players would. Kamara at the baseline. Get back out to Kegley. Now to Zelensky. Over to Kaufelt. Kaufelt loses the ball. Did it get knocked away? Nope. It's an over and back. So Caulfield just straight loses the ball. Over and back turnover. Marion gets the ball back and a couple of substitutions here to report on. That's an error that can, is all right to be made every once in a while, Bill, but Cordy wants to avoid that and get it out of their system early if they have to. Benversi and Keller back in the game for Marion. And Keller will bring the ball up. Keller between the circles. Give to Kozlowski. Kozlowski into Velicki, guarded by Kamara. Now shot back out to Stecker, give to Benversi. Benversi looking inside to Keller. Keller working against Zelinski. Now give to Koslowski. Koslowski up, no good. Rebound to Zelinski. And Zelinski clears out Benversi. Oh boy. Caulfield wide open. Three, no good. Quick shot by Caulfield. One thing Cordy is doing right on defense here, Bill, is they're anticipating the passes very well, which helps them shift a lot quicker, denying Marion the shots they need. Zelensky with a huge block of Koslowski out of bounds. It'll be Marion basketball, but Zelensky made him pay for it. Right there, classic example. Steve Zelensky coming out of the lane because he saw where the ball was going. That helped defense. Sends the ball right out of the county on that one. 
Boy, that that uh, two words right there, shot fake. I think would have been probably the best best result. It's your best weapon against a player like Steve Zelensky. <laughs> Keller with the ball. Give inside quickly to Benversi, who dribbles back out. Now back to Keller. Keller to, excuse me, that's Keller right there with the ball. Inside, Velicki trying to step inside. No, doesn't do that. Now steps back out and makes a shot over it over Zelensky. It was like Cody Velicki took your advice, Bill. He knew he couldn't play Zelensky man straight up. Went for the shot fake. Zelensky did a pretty good job of bringing it back down there, but Velicki just had, had an extra step in space. Al Caulfield give to Zelensky. Zelensky looking inside, nothing there. Scholes. Jackson back to Scholes, looking inside, nothing going on. A ball tipped away on the pass to Marion. So two turnovers. Zelensky looks like he's going to roll out there, but he got held up there, and Scholes anticipated a little too early and threw the pass. Stecker to Koslowski. <laughs> Koslowski now wide open, three, no good. Rebound to Zelensky and Concordia. Might have been a push, nothing called. Donaldson, give to Jackson. Jackson thought about a three from way back behind the three-point line. Didn't take it. Donaldson will set up the offense. Seven minutes left in the first half. 22-14, Falcons lead. Jackson into Caulfield. Nice shot, no good. Rebound to Velicki. Give to Stecker. Up quickly. Stecker between the circles. Inside to Keller. Keller doing moves on nobody. Up and good. So Keller moves on absolutely no one. Goes up and under and makes the shot. And a timeout for Concordia. Well, you have to give Marion credit here. They're recognizing that they can't play straight up against a player like Steve Zielinski or with bigs like Brian Jackson in the middle. So they're using a lot more ball fakes in an attempt to get the bigs out of the lane or get them to commit too soon so they can get a, a quick shot here because they're not winning the rebounding game by any means. Marion is getting no second opportunities. They have a one shot and done on most possessions. So they're using ball fakes to try to get Zielinski to slot for it a little too early and they'll leave them an opening. Since a wide open three by Al Caulfield, Concordia has gone scoreless on their last four times down the floor and lead 22-16 with 6.40 left in the first half. So far, and, and, and to your point, Nathan, I'm not sure that Marion has a single offensive rebound this game. And that's going to be the big one. They're not a very strong rebounding team to begin with. But if you can't get second opportunities, you're just giving the other team more time with the basketball. The team that controls the basketball can grind the game to their will. Jackson with the ball between the circles. Give to Donaldson. Now to Pace. Trying to go inside. Nothing there. Pace turn around. No, give to Jackson. Jackson no good. Up and good on the second. On the reload. So Jackson makes it off the offensive rebound. 24-16. Falcons. Brian Jackson have a very excellent first half. That's his eighth point. He's fighting in there with the best of them. He is a very versatile small forward that's really, really paying dividends here for Concordia. Felicki, ball knocked away by Caulfield, but a foul on Caulfield. Once again, Concordia is over aggressive. It's getting the better of them. Al Caulfield really wanted to go for the steal. Went a little too hard for it. And that's Concordia's fifth personal foul here. They're not as bad trouble as they've been in the past, but still, with six minutes left, you want to watch it. You don't want to hand Marion any favors in the free throw line. Stecker between the circles. Looking and nothing going on. Now give the Benversi, who's been shut down in this first half. Back to Stecker. Stecker dribbling outside to the left. Now give back to Benversi. To Gomez. Gomez in the game. Nothing there. Give to Stecker. Now inside to Koslowski. Koslowski on pace. Koslowski out. No good. Rebound to Zelensky. And he's fouled. So... Whenever, whenever he comes down with the basketball, there are two Sabres all over him every time Zelensky gets a rebound, and they finally call a foul. Well, Mary is trying to do their best. To, hopefully, Zelensky will make a mistake here, but when well, you're six foot nine and have that kind of rebounding ability, you can put three players on him before it will make a difference. <laughs> Donaldson up. Outside left. Give to Jackson at the top of the key. Now to Pace. Pace looking. Dribble inside, nice move, Mark Pace up and a foul! Basket counts, Mark Pace will go to the line for the extra shot. Mark Pace, a very, very dynamic player, really added an extra spark here to Concordia when he transferred over there, executing a textbook. Oh, that was a highlight reel move right there. 
Fans starting to get here from Mark Pace. Shot up, and it is good. So Mark Pace, the one Concordia Falcon you don't want at the free throw line, extends the Concordia lead to 27-16 with five minutes left in the first half. Stecker, outside right. Guarded by Bowers. Now inside to about five feet. Give back to Velicki at seven feet. No good. Rebound to Bowers. Bowers will push. Three on three. Give to Jackson. No control. Ball thrown to the bounce, and we'll give it back to Marion. Good effort there by Jax to try to make something happen with it, but he probably would have been better just putting up a shot there so before he can go for a rebounding advantage. He tried to make a play, but he was a little too far in the basket to really do anything with it. Keller checks into the game for Velicki, and, and you know, when, sometimes when you have a three-on-three, three, it's not as nice as it looks, and that was definitely an ugly turnover for the Falcons. 4.45 left in the first half. Falcons lead by 11. Benversi outside left. Again, no points for him so far today. Now he turns the ball over. Here comes Bowers. Bowers, balls, no, not stripped away, and up and good. Stecker went for the strip. Bowers got passed, and he makes the lazy layup. Cordia once again making Marion hurt by using the fast break here. It worked for him a little earlier. They were a little dry on it late, but it's coming up again. Bowers steals the ball away from Koslowski. Pace with it, bringing it up. Give to Donaldson, who wasn't expecting it. Donaldson now with the ball. Looking inside, nothing doing. Zelensky still in the lane, needs to get out of there. Give to Bowers, who beat his man. Bowers up, and good. Marion's finding out the hard way, Bill, that Concordia may be the bigger team, but they can play fast with the best of them. And they are really starting to grind Marion's defensive abilities down on that fast break. Malcolm Bowers is a man on a mission in the last two minutes. Benversi, outside left, thought about a three and passed it up. Now to Stecker. Stecker, give to Gomez. Gomez guarded by Bowers. Gomez inside, nothing doing there. Out to Keller, ball might have been tipped. And it is off, oh, and Pace got it right in the midsection. Ball will stay with Marion. Pace just crumpled to the floor. We don't like to see that. Well, it looks like he took that ball low. That was totally accidental, but still doesn't feel good to have that happen. I think we felt it up here a little bit, but he seems to be on his feet and moving. That always hurts worse the next day. Benversi out of the game as well as Gomez for Marion. Checking into the game for Marion is Koth as well as Keller. So Mark and Mike Keller both in the game at the same time now for the Sabres. Cordy holding the defensively. They have their biggest lead of the day here with 15. Still anticipating everything. Keller, give to Koth, up, no good, rebound to Koslowski. Kosl the first offensive rebound of the game. Now out to Koth. Koth give to Stecker, 28 on the shot clock. Stecker, up, nope, passed it up. Give to Koslowski, wide open three, good. Koslowski makes the three and it's 31-19, Concordia. Full court pressure here coming from the Sabres. Marion doing what they need to do against the Concordia defense, moving the ball around, hoping Concordia will over anticipate the passes and give them an opening and it worked there for them. Donaldson, between the circles, give the pace. Still in the game after taking that one in the midsection. Give to Bowers. Bowers now back to pace, this time in the post. Bowers, a nice jump stop, up, no good, but a foul. Bowers will go to the line, excuse me, Pace will go to the line for two. Once again, Mark Pace, the player they don't want to put put on the free throw line, but he's confident enough to go in there and draw the fouls, and this is going to haunt Marion if they keep this up. Pace, the only player who really gets regular playing time outside of maybe Mark Scholes, uh, who actually averages a decent amount as he makes the first. Pace making 72% of his free throws on the season. Hasn't missed yet today. Shot up and good for Mark Pace. Pace gets... On the box out, might have taken another shot below the midsection. Mark Pace is indefinitely one of the tougher tip players on this team here, and he's showing it here tonight. Koff looking for some space outside right. Nothing there, give back to Stecker. Stecker on the left, Stecker with some room. Showing some quickness. Give to Keller who lost the ball, but gathers. Now back to Koff, Koff between the circles. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Inside, now back up to Keller. Keller at seven feet, give to his brother Mike Keller. Shot up and it is no good, rebound to Jackson. Nice defensive possession for the Falcons as Donaldson brings up outside right. Cordy continuing to own the defensive boards there. It's really, really the key to their success here so far. 
Bowers looking inside for Jackson. Ball knocked away, but Bowers gathers. Two minutes left in the first half. Donaldson to Bowers. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Give the pace. Jackson with the ball outside right. Give to Zelensky inside to Pace. Pace turning on jump shot. Good. Mark Pace, nothing but net. And it's 35-19, Concordia. Mark Pace, once again, one of the most dynamic scorers on this team here. Wide open three-pointer for Keller. Good. 35-22, Concordia leads. Marion, not down yet. But said they can shoot that three-pointer, and it's their salvation so far, helping them inch back here in this game. Pace with the ball, dribbling inside, up, and good. Mark Pace is a man on a mission. 37-22, Concordia. A double-digit first half for Mark Pace. Mark Pace, like I said, a dynamic scorer here. Averages about 11 points a game. He's got 11 points in the first half. Mark Keller with a long two as the Keller brothers are making Concordia pay for not guarding them. Both wide open shots and both makes 37-24. Well, Marion's passing this game, though, has been impeccable when it had to be. They're trying to shift Concordia's help man away from their main shooters. Shot up and no good for Zelensky, but a foul as he will go to the line for two. A nice in inbound pass there uh, by Pace to get Zelensky free. I'm a little shocked how open... Uh, Zelensky was where you see that ball. He grabbed the ball a little too much ease for any coach's tip. Wasn't coach's taste there. He really hasn't had any opportunities in the first half so far. A guy that you think, you know, being about four or five inches taller than the next biggest player uh, would have a little bit more opportunity. The first shot off the front rim, no good for Zelensky. Well, Marion so far has been playing uh, the health defense of their own. They've been trying to shift two bigs, two of their post players to the same block Zelensky's on there. So he has you know, double the competition to deal with when getting the ball inside. Zelensky, his first point of the game right there on the make. No, one point, but four blocks and five rebounds. So the, the defensive presence that you would expect for someone who's much bigger than the other players. Well, Steve Zelensky is a pretty good score. He's not having the best scoring day today here, but he brings so much more to the plate than the ability to score. He is an excellent defensive player. Stecker up no good, but a foul on Kamara. As Kamara looked like he was straight up. 42 seconds left in the first half. 38-24 Falcons as Stacker goes to the line for two. And that whistle was a little late there. That was what Concordia was so puzzled about is they waited until after the player came down, well after the bump before the whistle was called. First shot for Stecker up and good. It looked a bit like when Stecker hit Kamara, he hit a stone wall and just fell backwards and they might have called, just on his reaction, they might have called that foul. Stecker's second. Up, and it is good. Nothing but that for both of them. 38-25, 42 seconds left in the first half. Full court pressure here for the Sabres. Nowhere to go. Give to Jackson. Jackson, now they got numbers. Give to Bowers. Bowers looking inside. Give to Kamara. Up and good. Beautiful press break for the Falcons. 40-26 to with 27 seconds left. Cordy used Marion's strategy against them. Marion put their taller players up there, trying to deny the passes early. Cordy made him pay for it by moving it further down the, field, down the court. And there was no bigs down there to stop that layup. Shot clock is shut off. 12 seconds left in the half. Stecker between the circles. Looking for some room. Dribbles left. Now back to the right. Up and, oh, we give the pass away. Up and no good for Velicki. And a foul. They're going to call a foul on, is it Pace that they called the foul on? I believe it's Jackson, Bill. It seems like it's going to be Jackson. Good call, Nathan. Brian Jackson picks up his second foul with two seconds left in the first half. Once again, a pretty confusing call as the whistle happened well after the contact was made. <laughs> the whistle, that time the foul was called by the referee out near half court. Caulfield will call, check in for Jackson to make sure that Jackson doesn't pick up a quick third, given only two seconds left in the half, but want to keep Jackson safe for the second half. Well, Jackson's having an excellent scoring game today. He has eight points tonight. He will have more probably down the stretch. Cordy wants to avoid any unpleasant foul troubles. They've spread out the foul load here pretty evenly, Bill. Velicki's two shots were both good. 2.4 left in the half. Get into Donaldson. Donaldson fires up for the buzzer. No good. Would have counted. 
40 to 28. We are at halftime here, and so far, you know, we haven't seen Zelensky dominate inside offensively, but really defensively, not only him, but the Concordia Falcons have dominated on the interior so far in this game defensively. Well, that's been the key to their success so far here tonight, Bill, is Concordia has taken every advantage their height could give them and exploited it. But you also have your Concordia credit is that they have matched Marion, which is a very fast team, step for step in terms of speed. But whatever Marion manages to do, Concordia has managed to find a way to make him pay for it. So we'll, we'll, we'll be back just before the start of the second half with stats analysis and the start of the second half. We're going to halftime break. 40 to 28, your Concordia Falcons leading the Marion Sabres.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the R. John Luke Field House here at Concordia University, Wisconsin. We're at halftime. Concordia leads by 12, 40 to 28 over the Marion University Sabres as Marion comes out to start the warm-ups for their side. We look at a couple stats here. Uh, anything that jumps off the paper as far as, you know, the, the big things to me that I see is that, one, Drew Versi had 23 points in the last game, has zero attempts so far today, so completely shut down by the Concordia defense. So far leading the way for the Sabres is uh, Cody Vilecki with eight points, two rebounds, and followed up closely by Sam Koslowski, who has two three-pointers and six points total for the Concordia Falcons. Mark Pace with 11 points, Brian Jackson with eight, and Steve Zielinski with only one point, but four blocks, five rebounds. So, and Concordia, who was plagued by turnovers in the last game, only four. So the things that we talked about, the size versus speed, can, can, can Concordia hold on to the basketball? So far, it looks like very successful in a Falcon uh, positive turnout here for the first half. Well, yes, the Falcons here have managed to force Marion to play their game for the most part. Marion has shown flashes of themselves fighting for that long ball. They managed to get off a few three-pointers. It's doing well for them, but Concordia has not only out-rebounded. It says 15-12, 15 rebounds Concordia, 12 for Marion. But the key tabs stat here is defensive rebounds. Concordia has 11 defensive rebounds. And I don't believe Marion has had that many second opportunities here tonight because Concordia willing to shut down any chance of Marion ever hitting their offensive boards. So, so far for the Falcons, all four blocks for Zelinski, 40 total points as we mentioned, for only four turnovers. And when we mentioned the size versus speed, we talked about getting the ball into the paint and making Marion pay uh, 22 points in the paint for Concordia so far, only eight for the Sabres. So we've seen exactly what we thought would be the biggest key to this game, uh, the biggest players on the floor, all being for the Concordia Falcons. And, and really in this half, Nathan, what do you think? Is it, What do you think Concordia might need to change up? Or what do you think Marion might need to change up just to get back into this basketball game? Well, Marion, they need to, have to change anything up here today. It's They have to not underestimate Concordia's ability to move the ball. They have tried to go for the quick steal up front, and Concordia just got the ball past their, their front line and made them pay for it. If Marion wants to come back in this game, they're going to have to play Concordia straight up as much as possible and not anticipate too much. Concordia, if they want to keep this lead, they need to keep doing what they're doing. But one transition they need to look for is they need to keep... Marion off balance. Every time Marion has scored inside the arc, it was off of ball fake. Marion using ball fake to try to get Steve Zelinski or Brian Jackson to commit too soon, and that has reaped dividends for them. Also, Cordia needs to not get a little too over enthusiastic on the, the help man. They've had a few silly fouls here. Marion not the best free throw shooting team, but Cordia does not need foul trouble going down the stretch by getting reckless fouls, trying to chase after the ball. Concordia on the floor, it looks like the starting five. Donaldson, Pace, Bowers, Zelinski, and Jackson. Coming onto the floor for the Marion Sabres. Koslowski, Velicki, Benversi, Stecker, and we're missing one, and that's Keller. So the starting five for each team will be back on the floor here as Concordia will start the ball going from our left to our right. Here we go in the second half. Donaldson in the backcourt. Now comes to the forecourt between the circles, going left. Donaldson with a lot of room, looking inside, into Jackson, who tried to get to Zelensky, tried to peel it in there, nothing doing. Ball out of bounds to the Sabres. Concordia trying to get to Steve Zelensky early there, but that was a very, very uh, bad case of miscommunication there. Jackson with a little quicker than Steve Zelensky, who was still getting into position on that play. Stecker outside right, give to Velicki. Now looking, give to Benversi, who has not attempted a shot today. Guarded closely by Pace. Benversi, nothing doing. Give back to Keller. Keller to Stecker. Stecker between the circles, dribbling right. Got a nice pick. Stecker keeps going. Guarded by Donaldson. Donaldson recovers. Stecker inside, looking for Velicki. Ball off of Velicki? No, off of Jackson. It'll stay with the Sabres with four seconds left on the shot clock. 
good defense there by Concordia. There's only four left on the shot. They denied absolutely everything there. Koslowski inside the Velicki. Two seconds of the shot clock. Back to Koslowski. Shot up and good. Just over the hand of, of Zelensky. That was a good look there by Marion. Steve Zelensky was still in the lane. Put it a little just within his reach, but a little too far for him to get there. Pace outside right. Going baseline, nothing doing on Benversi. Give back to Jackson. Jackson looking for some room. Give to Donaldson. Now outside left, now to Bowers on the baseline. Ball tipped and taken away by, by the Sabres. Cordy making a lot, of, a lot of reckless mistakes here early. This may hurt them here in these first 10 minutes of the second half. Two trips, two turnovers for the, for the Falcons. Keller give to Velicki. Might have traveled. Now inside. Back to Koslowski. Now who sends it back to Keller, excuse me, Stecker. Now to Benversi, first shot of the game, no good, air ball, but a rebound put back by Kozlowski. 40-32, Concordia leads with 18 and a half left in the basketball game. Concordia has a tendency to be reckless, that's one of their downfalls, Bill, and so far it's really starting to hurt them here. Pushfell called inside on Benversi as he's trying to guard pace. Cordia needs to settle down here, move the ball around and make some smart shots here. They're trying to move a little fast, they can move fast, but they're going a little too fast for their own good here to start. Benversi, who led the team in scoring in the last game against Wisconsin Lutheran with no points. Ball tipped up and away and knocked into the hands of Koslowski. So three strips down the floor, three turnovers. Keller, give it Koslowski, wide open three, no good, rebound to Pace. Quick outlet to Donaldson, Donaldson up quickly. Down the lane, up and no good. Thought he was foul, nothing doing. Stecker up the floor quickly, give to Keller. Keller, outside left, back to Stecker. Now to Benversi, Benversi thought about it, passed it up. Give to Koslowski down the lane, out to Benversi, to Stecker, Stecker wide open three, good. 40-35, Concordia leads with 17 and a half left in the basketball game. Marion's passing there was impeccable. Concordia's health defense shifts, shifting a little too much with each pass here, and Marion is just buying their time until Concordia shifts a one step too many there. Donaldson, Sabres on a 7-0 run to start the half. Donaldson looking inside, now give to Bowers, Bowers at 10 feet, Bowers inside, up, no good, but a foul. Bowers took one across the face, looks like he will be okay, and he'll go to the line for two. Foul on Mike Keller, his second foul, and Bowers goes to the line. Malcolm Bowers has had his troubles at the free throw line this year. First shot up, and it is good. You know, now that I think of it, Nathan, Bowers has always had a lot of success down at this end of the floor, not so much at the far end of the floor. Well, we've always talked about Concordia as a second-half team. They really like this end of the floor here. A lot of their players really come alive, especially when playing at home, on the second half. The master of halftime adjustments, Sean Cassidy. Koslowski, outside left. Home crowd getting into it. Blocking foul on Bowers. Once again, Concordia is over being a little over-aggressive there. Bowers gave him a little body bump. He probably should have just stepped back into the lane here. First foul, three minutes in. Not really very bad, but still, Concordia is making a lot of mistakes here that they really shouldn't be. Keller up, blocked by Zelensky. Nice inbound play, but Zelensky rejects it. Stecker, guarded by Donaldson. Now give to Keller, wide open three, no good. Rebound is to Bowers. He'll push, give to Jackson. Jackson up quickly, oh, it tried for the pass. Nothing doing to Zelensky, and it's another turnover for the Falcons. This team leads the conference in turnovers, and they've already matched the amount of turnovers they had in the first half. Four turnovers so far in this half, and eight total for the game. Brian Jackson trying a little too hard to hammer it inside to Steve Zielinski. you got to love his enthusiasm here. But when you walked into this the half with a 12-point lead, you can feel free to take your time a little. <laughs> Keller up. Strong. Boy, could have gone up. Ball now off of Jackson on the bounce. Keller had Zielinski all over him. Could have gone up and forced the foul there. Good defense there by Brian Jackson. Good hustle trying to keep it in play. But loose ball's a loose ball. Inbound from Keselowski coming to Keller. Keller right back to Keselowski, up, no, and a block again by Zelensky. Six blocks for the big man, and Keselowski is hurt. Here comes Donaldson. Keselowski gingerly getting up the floor. Jackson back to 
looking and now back to Donaldson, but it's stolen away by Stecker. Another turnover. Here comes Stecker at 15 feet. No good, but a foul. He was fouled pointlessly by Bowers on that play. Bowers is lucky he doesn't get called from the intentional. I don't think he made any harm, but still he made contact knowing he couldn't stop the shot. He's lucky they the refs decided to throw a book at him there, Bill. That really was a very reckless foul. He did not need to commit. Stecker going to the line, 42-35. Concordia leads with about 16 minutes left in this, ha this game. Excuse me. It looks like Koslowski's going to come out of the game as he hurt his ankle on that last possession. First shot up and good for Stecker. Into the game for Concordia, Caulfeld, Scholes, and Kegley. Smart move there. Brian Jackson has three turnovers already in the first half. Michael Bowers picked up his third foul. Falcons need to transition only here because a 12-point lead has become a five-point lead, and we haven't reached the four-minute mark quite yet. Back come the Falcons. Caulfeld between the circles. Give to Kegley. Kegley now to Pace. Pace inside Zelensky. Zelensky looking for some room. Up and no good. Rebound to Velicki. And the Sabres, 42-37, Concordia leads. Concordia has scored, has been outscored 9-2 so far in the half. Malicki, got a, got a step, up, again good. Got a step on Zelensky, and it's 42-39, Concordia. Once again, they're using a ball fade to get Steve Zelensky to commit a little too soon, and Coach Cassidy calls a much-needed timeout to help his Falcon squad get their focus back. Cassidy calls a timeout, a 9-2 run to come out here for the Sabres. And it's 42-39 to start the second half. And I think the story so far in this second half, really, are the amount of turnovers so far for the Falcons. And, and they really kept it down. We talked about how well they were doing in protecting the basketball. And then all of a sudden, the second half starts. Well, one thing, there's one drawback this Falcon squad has, Bill, is they can get a little too reckless for their own good once they get all hepped up and ready to play the game. And that appears to be happening now. As I said before, you come into the second half with a 12 point lead you don't feel the need to rush things a little bit feel free to chew up clock all turnovers came off of an attempt to force it inside to force the tempo of the game and Cordia really doesn't need to do that now they're only up by three so now they have to play strong on both ends if they want to put a little bit of wheel room and safety between them and Marion so in the first meeting between these two teams it was a very close Concordia victory Concordia turned the ball over 19 times so far, nine turnovers today, and uh, the bench outscoring Marion 25-13 so far. The bench at half and outscored Marion 12-7. So Cody Koslowski also having a nice game so far for the Sabres, who are led by Veliki in scoring. Pace to bring the ball in. It's Pace, Kegley, Zelinski, Scholes, and Caulfeld on the floor. You have to give Marion credit here, Bill. So far, they have kept Steve Zelinski relatively silent on the offensive end. Pace, give the call, felt outside right. Looking for some room. Give to Kegley inside, now to Pace. Pace up, strong, no, but a foul. Good move there by Pace to draw the foul. You have to give Marion credit for trying to do the help defense, but Pace had already made his move. That's when he called for a foul every time. Pace to step back to the free throw line. As we saw, th this lineup in the first half did actually have a lot of success on the floor. First shot up, and it is good. Well, Bill, this is a, this is a, a scrappier of the lineup here. If the starting lineup is a little more of a fast car, this is more of your pickup truck here. These are the, the tougher, not quite as fast players, but they're tough. They love to work it inside, and they're a much stronger unit. Pace made the first 43-39 Concordia leads. Second shot up, and it is good. It rolls in. 44-39, Concordia extends the lead back to five. Those free throws might help the Concordia's uh, momentum and sense of morale here a little, Bill. The confidence booster to add anything to this lead. Got to stop the momentum right now. Benversi guarded by Pace. Now by Zelensky. Back to Pace. Now give to Kunin. Kunin. Over to Stecker. Stecker at 15 feet. Thought about it. Passed it up. Benversi wide open. Three-pointer. No good. And another air ball for Benversi. Here comes Scholes. Scholes up quickly. Guarded by Benversi. Now give the pace. Who's got it by Benversi. And the Caulfield. Caulfield and nobody around him. Turnaround jump hook. No good. Rebound by Benversi. 
not the best move there by Colley. He should have taken the extra step and gone straight for the layup. Could have probably been turned into a three-point play. I think he was surprised nobody was there. Coonan between the circles. Give to Keller. Keller at three feet. Good. Once again, they draw speed Zelinski out, leaving the lane a lot wide, more wide open. And Concordia should ever leave it. Mike Keller. Now Kegley quickly inside. Shot blocked. And a foul. I believe they're going to call this on Vilecki on the one Kegley was coming down. They're going to call. they the call on Vilecki. If that was on Vilecki, that's a pretty late call. Well, this is the third time it's happened, and it all happened on this end, Bill, where the play happens, and then the whistle comes after everyone is pretty ready to make the next play. Kegley's first shot up, and no good. 44-41. Concordia leads with 14-18 left in this basketball game. Into the game for Benversi is number 24, Brad Koth. Kegley. Not many free throw attempts in the year. His second shot is up, and it is good. So Kelly hits the second, 45-41, a four-point lead for the Falcons. Stecker. Guarded by Kegley. Stecker slowly bringing the ball up the court this time. Give to Koth. Koth between the circles, guarded by Scholes. Koth now working his way inside. Ball stolen away by Kegley. Nice play by Kegley. Kegley looking up the floor quickly. Get to Caulfield. Caulfield leans in. No good. Air ball. Rebound to Vilecki and the Sabres. Caulfield's shooting a little soft in this half, Bill. He's going up a little too gently. You need to go up strong and go right to the glass and a play like that. Coonan gives to Koth. Now to Stecker. Stecker to Keller. Back to Coonan. Coonan on the right. Coonan fires up a three ball. No good. Rebound to Zielinski. Only man down there. Here comes Kegley to pace. Pace looking for some room. Give back to Kegley. Kegley with some room now. And he drops, stopped the dribble, but he gives back to Pace. Pace on the right. Pace dribbles baseline and a foul. No shot, foul on Koth. It'll be out of bounds to Concordia underneath the basket. Pace there, making a very smart move, and this is gonna help Concordia here with 13-20 left to play in the game. Marion has just drawn their fifth foul. If Pace can keep getting to the hoop, he's going to be shooting some free throws. And that can really help Concordia down the stretch. Inbound to Scholes. Now in for Kamara, who's in for Zelensky. Kamara going, trying to go strong. Up and no good but a foul. So the next foul puts Concordia in the bonus. Kamara will go to the line for two. Smart move there by Kamara. He could have taken it back out and reset the offense, but... He managed to get his position just right to draw that foul. Kamara, the junior from saint en France. First shot up and no good. On the season, Kamara averaging 60%. Only taken 10 shots so far. Now 6 for 11. Second shot for Kamara. Up and it is no good. Missed them both. 45-41, Concordia with the lead. Corey in a very uncomfortable position here, Bill. They have not been in control at all this half. Coonan quickly over to come to Keller, and he makes that shot. Excuse me, that was Koff. Koff for three, 45-44, and a foul, and that'll put Concordia at the line. So Concordia will be shooting the rest of the way. Marion, you got to give them credit for sticking with it. It's one of the sacrifices they had to make to stick up to catch up to Concordia. But now it may very well Concordia a chance to widen the gap yet again here as they will be shooting here for the next 13 minutes of basketball. Kegley at the line. His first shot up, and it is good. So he earns the bonus. 46-44. Koslowski back into the game now for Coonan. 46-44, Concordia leads. And if this is one team that you don't necessarily mind putting at the line, it's the Concordia Falcons right now tied for 11th, second last in the conference in free throw shooting. Kegley second up, and it is good. Bounces off the front rim and in. 47-44. 3-2 press, a man press being employed by Concordia. Ball up quickly to Selvig. Might have walked. Give the Keller. Back to Solvik. Solvik still with the ball. Between the circles. Got it by Kamara. Looking for some room. 
Give to Koff. Koff to Koslowski. Looking inside, but nothing's there. Scholes guarding closely. Now on the baseline. Give to Vilecki. Up. No good. They're going to see the fouls on the floor. It looked like he might have been fouled in the act, but the foul is on the floor. And it's 47-44. That foul, I believe, will go on Kegley. It will. Concordia has fouls to give here, Bill. It's probably best they keep Marion from getting to the free throw line and getting their shot up. You have to follow them. Follow them on the floor. Keller gave quickly back to Salvik from 15 feet. Good. 47-46. Concordia with the lead. Pace outside right. Looking to go baseline. Now bring it back to the middle. Give to Caulfield. Caulfield directing traffic to Kegley. Kegley on the right. Kegley cross court pass to Scholes. Ill advised, but he got away with it. Scholes outside left, dribbling back now, drives the baseline up, and no, an offensive foul. He ran right through Keller. Offensive foul by Scholes. It'll go back to Marion. So far, a uh, turnover riddled second half for the Falcons. Falcons are in an awkward position here. They have not had the momentum on their side since the half has begun. Kamara went for the steal on Keller. Keller now bringing the ball up the floor quickly. Guarded by Kegley. Kegley now peels off and takes Solvik. Solvik travels into the lane. Give to Koslowski. Now back to Koth. Wide open three. Good. That's the first lead for Marion since they led 5-4 early in this game. Well, it's a ball game. Marion's are running Concordia. They're not the only one chasing for conference position down the stretch. Koth out outside right. We've got ourselves a basketball game. Inside the pace. Pace looking for position. Up no good, but a foul. Smart move by Pace there. Once again, he knows how to draw the foul. He knows how to make free throws. And that puts Concordia two fouls away from shooting two shots after every one for the rest of the contest. Pace at the line. Concordia led this game by 16 points at one point. Now down two. Pace's first shot up and good. 49-48, the Sabres. Pace getting ready for his second. Concordia ready with six turnovers in this half. Pace is second up and it is nothing but net. Tie ball game. 49-49 as Bowers checks in for Pace. We've got Jackson, Kamara, Bowers, Scholes, and Kegley on the floor. Keller. Koslowski. Velicki. Koth and Solovic on the floor for the Sabres. Here comes Koslowski. Looking inside. Give to Keller. Keller back outside. Koth long three. No good. Rebound off of Scholes. Yes. Off Scholes and it'll stay here for Marion. Good hustle there by Mark Scholes to keep the play alive. But once again, Concordia just... Needs to get this basketball, control it for a few minutes here. Koff fires another three, no good. Rebound to Scholes. Concordia looks a, a step slow so far this, this half. Scholes, 15 feet, looking inside, goes up, no, and rolled out. Out to Koff. Excellent move there by Scholes, but he was denied by physics there, Bill. Not much you can do on that one. In and out. Solvik tripped by, by Scholes, and that'll be a foul on Scholes. Early incidental contact to me, but the ref saw it, Bill. Cordy now starting to rack up the fouls here. This might become a free throw shooting contest here for the final 10 minutes. Does not bode well for the Falcons if it is a free throw shooting competition. Marion does average the fourth most attempts in free throws in the league. Oh, Velicki wide open. No good. Rebound off shoals out of bounds. It'll stay here for, for Marion. I'm almost surprised a loose ball foul wasn't called on somebody in that one. Bill. A lot of contact. Seems like they're letting them play, but we have a lot of fouls at the same time. Velicki again up, no good. Rebound off the backboard and guard, guarded by Kamara. Here comes Scholes. Scholes quickly between the circles. Give to Kegley, wide open three, no good. Rebound to, out of bounds, to Concordia. It was Jackson and Kozlowski fighting for that one and went off for Kozlowski last. 
and it looks like Keller is looking to come back into the game as he's trying to get his face mask back on. He goes into the game for Vilecki. Scholes to bring the ball in. 10-18 left in this basketball game. 49-49. Concordia and Marion tied in this conference contest. We're waiting here for Keller to get situated. Those face masks, I've been told, are, are just the worst. Looking to get the ball in. Kegley between the circles on the on the long throw. Give to Scholes, ball almost thrown away. Scholes up, no good, but a foul. Boy, oh boy, they are going right at Marion. And another foul on the Sabres. This time it's Keller. Mark Scholes proving once again that there's one thing he's trying to get better at. It's hitting getting to the basket. He's pretty good at it right now. And that was an excellent move there to draw the foul. Scholes to the line again. First shot up, and it is no good. Missed again. Back into the lineup here is Gomez in for Keller as he checks back out as Keller just earned his fourth foul. So he will go back, take that face mask back off, and sit back down on the bench. Next shot by Scholes, nothing but net. Concordia regains the lead, 50-49 to 49, over the Sabres of Marion University. Ball inbounded to Benversi. Another full court press being employed by Concordia. Back to Benversi from Keslowski. Benversi brings it across. Nobody's guarding him. Now up, straight up, and no good. Benversi actually hit the rebound this time. This time, second one by Benversi, no good. Rebound to Scholes. Beautiful play by Mark Scholes. Wow, what a hustle play by Scholes there. Kegley between the circles, give it Jackson. Jackson, foul on the arm. They're going to call on Keller, and Jackson will go to the line for two. Mary now making the mistake of following the wrong people here. They've been putting Mark Pace to the line. Brian Jackson is an iffy free throw shooter, but would, if he feels it, he can actually be an excellent free throw shooter. And Marion has it to be careful of the situation. Every foul now will send someone to the line. And right so far, they've been following the wrong people. Jackson's first shot up and good. Jackson's only attempted 13 free throws so far this year. We spoke before, Bill. Corey had the strongest free throw shooting team, but if the right people get to the line, they can be deadly. Jackson's second shot up, and it is no good. Rebound on a foul on Kamara. So, rebounding foul, loose ball foul on Kamara. It'll go the other way. Marion basketball, 51 49. Concordia leads Marion. Now, Marion is one foul away from going to the bonus. Kamara. Collects the second foul, stays in the basketball game. Checking out is Kegley in favor of Donaldson. So Donaldson, who had an early exit, finally gets back into this basketball game. Stecker inside on Donaldson. Up, good, and a foul. Stecker is going to go to the line and try to put Marion in the lead. Boy, it almost looked like even though Donaldson's been guarding Stecker almost the entire game, that's, Donaldson just wasn't ready for that speed. Cordia seems to have slowed down a lot here in this last half here. It's been what's holding them back this whole half, Bill. Donaldson, excuse me, Stecker shot up and good. 52-51, Sabres lead the Falcons. Donaldson, give to Scholes. Kamara. Between the circles, back to Donaldson to set up the offense. Now to Bowers, Bowers inside quickly. Back out to Jackson, wide open three. Jackson, no good. Rebound to Koslowski, and back come the Sabres. It's Secker. Give to Keller, now to Koslowski on the left. Koslowski holds, now drives inside, up, and no good. Boy, it looked like a foul there on Bowers. Donaldson to bring the ball up. Donaldson give to Scholes. Back to Donaldson. Now to Jackson. Swing back to Bowers. Now into, oh, oh excuse me, out to Kamara. Kamara back. A nice move, Kamara. No good, though, on the layup attempt. Kamara faked out the defense, but couldn't get to go in. Stecker to Gomez. Travel on Gomez. Gomez tried to change the directions there. No go. Concordia basketball. 
Zelensky and Pace back in the game for Kamara and Scholes. Mark Pace back in the line to bring some scoring life here to Concordia. Hopefully to get him back the lead, make it a little bigger one. Zelensky has been cold all day, but they really need his presence right now on both ends of the rebounding. Donaldson straight up, no good, but a foul. They're going to call Velicki for that one. So he picks up another foul. Concordia would be wise now to attack the rim every time they get the ball. Take a little time off the clock and just attack, attack, attack the lane. Because they're going to be shooting free throws. Fouls are going to be called. So it's to their advantage to try to attack the lane as much as possible. Lots of foul trouble so far as the first shot for Donaldson goes in. And now it's tied at 52 with 824 left in this basketball game. Second shot, no good. Rebound to Benversi. Stecker sets up the offense between the circles. Now outside right, give to Benversi. Benversi looking inside, couldn't find Velicki. Benversi dribbling, now going back to the right. Benversi thinks about that shot, passes it up, give to Velicki on the left. Now inside, inside shot up and good. Nice reverse play by Koslowski. 54-52, Marion. Bowers to Donaldson. Looking for some room. Now back to Bowers on the right. Bowers dribbling back left across the three-point line. Give to Pace. Pace now to Jackson. Jackson trying to look inside. Ball taken away by the Sabres. Lots of turnovers so far in this half. Stecker looking to go inside. Working his way into Benversi. Benversi runs right through Pace, but a foul on Pace. Jackson is speaking with Coach Cassidy over at their bench, trying to figure out what went wrong on that last possession. Well, Brian Jackson is trying to make some plays happen here, but he's trying a little too hard to get it inside. And Marion is playing like they're going to go to Steve Zielinski every time. Benversi's first shot up and no good. Boy, Benversi shut down so far in this basketball game. Call could have gone either way for Pace. Jackson is visibly upset. Well, yeah, Cooler heads must prevail. Well, he had an excellent half first half here. It can be frustrating to see your second half. I don't believe he scored the entire half except for one basket. And he has had a lot of turnovers here. Then Versi missed them both. Donaldson coming back the other way. Concordia down two. Get the pace. Pace looking for some space. 17 feet. No good. Off the top of the shot clock and out of bounds to Marion. Well, that was just bad luck right there. Concordia keeping in this game here but they need to get a little bit of life here in these last seven minutes here they've been playing very flat the whole second half Concordia so far in this half beating themselves more than Marion's beating them here is Benversi between the circles now give to Velicki who gives to Keller Keller looked back to Velicki guarded by Zelensky Velicki looking to go inside nothing doing there up and good oh my Nice, right over the outstretched hand of Zelensky, 56-52, Marion. Donaldson, between the circles, looking for some space. Give to Bowers, Bowers back to Donaldson. Donaldson looking to the baseline, blocking foul, called on Marion. Donaldson will go back to the line for two. I said it's going to be a free throw shooting contest here. Concordia needs to put the ball in the hands of their strong free throw shooters and have them attack the basket because that can help them crawl right back into a lead here. Just to give some idea on the foul trouble for Marion as Donaldson misses the first. Keller with four fouls. Mike Keller with four fouls, excuse me. Velicki with three. Benversi with three. Koff now with three. And that is about as much foul trouble as they have as well. Mark Keller as well with three personal fouls. Donaldson second shot up and good. 56-53. Marion leads with six and a half minutes left in the game. Stecker. Outside left. Dribbling is inside. 15 feet. Ball blocked by Zelensky. And Jackson recovers. Here comes Donaldson. Donaldson give. Nope. Ball tipped away and out of bounds to Concordia. Good attack there by Concordia. Nice anticipation there by Marion. But Concordia will get the second opportunity here. You have to give Steve Zelinski credit for getting a hand on that shot. That could have gone right over his head, but he managed to make another air ball. 
Mike Keller checked into the game. He's got four fouls as they let Velicki tuck his shirt back in. Now inbound is Zelensky. Bowers looking for Zelensky. Can't find him. Now give to Jackson. Jackson looking inside. Can work on the man with four fouls. Shot up. No. Oh, my. He got it to go. That ball looked like it was rolling off, and somehow it went in. 56-55. That, that, that should have been an end one that the refs missed there. There was a lot of contact, but Jackson saw it to the very end. Keller would have picked up his fifth. Give to Vlicky. Now to Koth. Koth at about 17 feet. Back to, to Stecker to set up the offense. 56-55. Series lead. Stecker up, no, get it up to Koth. Koth inside, looking tripped. A foul and two shots coming up for Koth. At the sound, impartial here, Bill, but I don't think he was tripped by anyone. I think he tripped himself on that play, and unlucky Falk I have to be standing next to him when it happened. <laughs> Koth to go to the free throw line. Koth has not missed from the free throw line yet this year. He's only taken eight attempts. That's the fourth foul on Malcolm Bowers. Koth's first attempt is up, and it is good. So Koth, 9 for 9 on the season. Malcolm Bowers checking out of the game, and Kaufelt will check into the game for him. That's Al Kaufelt. So Bowers will get a little bit of a rest as he is in some foul trouble. Second shot for Koth up and good. Lead stretched back to 3 for Marion. Benversi checks into the game for Koth. Donaldson, give to Pace. Pace to Jackson. Jackson sets it up between the circles. Back to Donaldson. Donaldson looking for some space. Give to Pace. Pace looking inside, nothing doing. Back outside. Pace will fire up a three. No good. Rebound to Benversi. Marion collects. 420, 520, excuse me, left in this basketball game. Not a bad idea to fire up a three, Bill, but you want to make sure your rebounders are in place in case that play doesn't work out for you. Nobody was down there. Stecker, excuse me, Keller with the ball. Now to Koslowski. Koslowski at about eight feet. Thought about it and gives it back up. Give the Stecker. Stecker. Keller. Keller. Balicki. Balicki strambled with the ball. Back to Concordia. Concordia has opportunities here, Bill. They need to make every possession now count. They're down by three. We know they can be a high-scoring team. They need to open up their scoring attack and not be afraid to hammer it in there because they're going to get fouled. They've only gone at Keller one time. He's got four fouls. Call foul. Give to Jackson. Jackson guarded by Keller. See if Jackson goes at him. Nothing doing there. Give to Donaldson across the court. Looking to Caulfelt. Caulfelt looking for space. Give to Jackson. Jackson thought about it. Now give to Pace inside. Can't handle the shot, the pass. And it'll go back to Marion. Another turnover. Pace is trying to draw an off the ball foul there. There was contact, but not enough for a whistle. Four and a half minutes remain in this game. 58-55. Marion leads. Concordia scored just 13 points in the second half. Stecker, give to Benversi. Got to get a stop here. Benversi, looking left. Nothing doing. Give back to Stecker. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Inside to Velicki. Velicki now to Keller. No good. Rebound to Pace. Almost fouled there. Donaldson with the ball, bringing it back up quickly. Looking inside, nothing doing. Give the pace. Pace, turnaround jump shot. Good, Mark Pace. And it's a one-point game. Marion leads 58-57 with 3.50 left in the basketball game. Pace needs to do that more often. Timeout called on the floor. A full timeout by Marion. And so far, it seems to me that it's it, this, this second half has been more Concordia beating themselves than Marion actually taking it to them on the basketball court. Well, you have to give Marion some credit here. They have not been the best rebounding team. But one thing they have been doing is denying, denying, denying. They've, they've tightened up the man-to-man. -man. They've worked more patiently on the offensive end. They have forced Concordia to make silly mistakes. And they've been extremely, extremely patient. When you're down by 12 and you turn it into a three-point lead, which is as big as it's been for them, that is a, that says a lot about the team's adjustments in the second half. Concordia, unfortunately, has been shooting themselves in the foot by trying to move the ball a little too fast here. And you have to give Marion credit for capitalizing on it as much as they have. 
so far for Concordia in the second half. Eight turnovers, and teams are tied. Concordia came into this this game leading the conference in rebounding, tied right now at 27 in rebounds apiece between the two teams, between Marion and Concordia. So what we saw was a great first half for Concordia, about as perfect as you want the first half to go. 12-point lead at halftime, 16-point lead during the half, 42 points at the half, only 15 points in the second half. We only have 346 left in the game. When your scoring is halved between halves, that says something about what's going on in the team. The team mentally just seemed to slip away here. They're back in it now, but they really should not have slipped down to this position here. They need to make some stops. They need to attack the basket. Mark Pace needs to attack the basket and get to that free throw line if Concordia wants to win this ball game. Koslowski into stack. Keller, excuse me. Back to Koslowski. Looking inside, now back to Keller. Wide open three, no good. Rebound, though, to Keller. Mike Keller with the rebound. Give to Stecker. Stecker with some room. Looking inside, 15 feet. No good. Rebound to Zelinski. Corey there, he had a few heart stopping moments there, but they transitioned just enough to keep Marion off balance. Donaldson picks up his dribble, looking for somebody, gets Jackson. Jackson now back to Donaldson. Donaldson, pace, pace, call foul. Caulfield still in the game as Bowers has four fouls. Caulfield now give to Zelensky, give back to Jackson. Jackson to Donaldson. Donaldson looking for Zelensky, can't get the ball to him. Pace now inside of Zelensky, foul called. If that's Keller, that's five. Zelensky will go to the free throw line, and that is Keller's fifth. Mike Keller fouls out of this basketball game. Keller so far in the season had averaged about six points a game, so right at that, but five personal fouls, he will leave the basketball game as he was guarding Zielinski, a total mismatch for Keller, the 6'4 sophomore, versus Zielinski, the 6'9 senior. Smart move there by Zielinski to, to play up there. He had the, all the size advantage. But one thing that doesn't bode well for the Falcons is that means Cody Vilecki is returning to the lineup, and he's been the source for a lot of post woes for the Falcons here tonight. Vilecki back in the game. Zielinski to the free throw line where he has really struggled this year, shooting 57%. His first up, and it is good. So Zielinski ties the basketball game at 58. 252 left in the game. It's as clutch as clutch can be here. It's the final three minutes of a game. We are tied. Everyone's feeling the pressure. Zelensky's second shot is up, and it is good. So Zelensky hits them both. 59-58. Falcons take back the lead. Every possession here for both teams is huge, Bill. The room for error is completely gone now. Stecker to Koslowski. Back to Stecker, outside left, looking for Velicki. Now Stecker drives the lane up, no good, and block. It's blocked by Zelensky. Here comes Pace. Pace to Caulfield. Caulfield brings it back out. And a timeout, no, a carry called by Al Caulfield. I thought it might have been a timeout called by Coach Cassidy, but it's Caulfield for a turnover. That's why I felt it didn't really look like a carry to me, but that's when there's been a few inex inexplicable whistles here today. Every game has them, but we seem to hit a lot here down the stretch. The coach, the, the look on Coach Cassidy's face is if to say, do they call that anymore? Outside, it's a long three, no good. Rebound to Concordia. Jackson with the board. Good Get hustle the here by Concordia. Concordia needs to make this possession count. Let the time run down. And Inside, Zelensky, no good. Rebound, tipped out by Benversi. He collects, and a timeout as it looks like Velicki took a shoulder to the face as, as Zelensky was turning in. It seems that way. It's, it looks like he took a shot in the mouth. He's down and hurt. I suppose lucky for him, you were his mouth guard. Very lucky for him. A lot of the crowd didn't like it. They thought he was acting a little bit. I just think he got the, the stars knocked out of him briefly. He seems to be all right, but take a blow to the face, you're going to be momentarily disoriented. It's not going to look pretty when you hit the deck. 59-58. There's two minutes left in this basketball game. And they're going to bring Koth in for Benversi, as Benversi has been all but shut down in this basketball game. Bowers will also come into the game for Koffeld. So Malcolm Bowers back in the game. 
Michael Myers needs to be careful. He's on the verge of fouling out here. But the Falcons need someone who can attack the rim, and Malcolm Bowers is the man for the job. Stecker between the circles, gives to Koff. Long three, no good. Rebound tipped around and gathered by Jackson. The court is really tightened up with the defensive board, and it's really, really paying off for them now. Now they need to score every possession they have and make this game a little more secure in his last minute and a half. Pace. Bowers on the left. Give to Jackson. Jackson looking. Nothing there. Zelinski give back to Donaldson. Zelinski's going to try to get inside. Donaldson now dribbles right. Give to Pace. Pace looking for Zelinski. Nothing there. Pace at 17 feet. No good. Rebound to Bowers. Offensive rebound. Bowers up. No good but a foul. He'll go to the line for two. Malcolm Bowers doing exactly what he was put in for to get some rebounds and attack the rim. Now he's going to the foul line. He's a much better second half free throw shooter. He has a chance to make this game a little more intact here with a one point lead. Falcons lead 59-58 over the Sabres. 117 left in the basketball game. Malcolm Bowers at the line. His first shot is up and it is good. Malcolm Bowers makes the first. 60 to 58, Concordia. Not the strongest free throw shooter in the team, but he is a clutch free throw shooter, Bill. And he's exactly what they need. He can make this a three-point game right here. Bowers second. Up and it is good. Malcolm Bowers made them both. Concordia needs the pressure every outside shot. Mary is going to try to tie it here in this next possession if they can. Minute 10 left. Aaron with the ball. Koslowski inside. Up. No good. A block shot. I'm not sure who got that one. If it was Bowers or Zelensky. Whistle and a timeout called by Coach Cassidy. Bowers is struggling under there with the basketball. He's used double teams of the timeout Concordia. We've got a minute three left in this basketball game, and Concordia leads 61 to 58. Good call there by Coach Cassidy. Stop the clock. Keep the ball in possession of the ball. Concordia has 32 seconds with it. Concordia needs to take its time. Wait to the last five, ten seconds before they attack the basket. Try to draw a foul. To get lucky with an add one, they can make this a six-point game with a little more than 30 seconds left. The last foul on Marion was Mark Keller's fourth. So he now squarely on the foul trouble bubble. So far for Concordia in this basketball game, Mark Pace with 17 points and Brian Jackson with 11 points. Well, Jackson at 11 at halftime, so he was shut down in the second half. Jackson will bring the ball in as Concordia looks to uh, go on the offensive against a full man-to-man -man press. Mary going to try to go for the steal early here. It's one of their best options being down by three. Pace gets the inbound. Trying to get the ball at the side. Give to Bowers. Bowers back to Jackson inside the pace. Wide open. Fouled. Oh, that almost went in. Goodness, Mark Pace almost went for the dunk. But the layup almost went in with the foul. Once again, denied by physics, but still, they fouled Mark Pace. Mark Pace has been an impeccable free throw shooter all season. He's been impeccable tonight. They just fouled the wrong man and put him to the line. Mark Pace has a chance to make this almost untouchable. Drubin versus fourth foul. Pace's first shot is up, and it is good. 62-58. It's now a two-possession ball game with 54 seconds left. Koslowski in the game for Benversi. Pace's second shot with not a single Falcon up there is good. 63-58. Three possessions max. Bill continues to play smart defense and force Marion to make a mistake on the shot. Force him to shoot a two-pointer. Stecker inside. Give to Koff wide open for three. No good. Rebound long to Jackson. Jackson with three big rebounds late in the game. Fouled is Mark Pace by Keller, and that'll be Keller's fifth. Marion was caught in a must-foul situation here. Concordia did a lot of things wrong the first 17 minutes of this half, but the final three minutes is where it counts the most, in the game, especially in a game this close. And now Mark Pace has a chance to truly put this one away. Leading by five, he can make it a seven-point game with 38 seconds left. Concordia trying to survive. They were up 16 in the first half, 12 at halftime, lead by five. Now Pace is first shot up and good. 64-58, Pace is going to try to bring this to a three-possession basketball game. I don't want to jinx him, so knock on wood, but Mark Pace has been perfect from the free-throw line tonight. Hopefully he makes that. That's, a, that's definitely a jinx move. 
Apparently Nothing not. That. Apparently, when he got the stroke, he got the stroke, Bill. 65-58, a three-possession basketball game. 33 seconds left. Give the cough. Cough fires up a three. No good. Around and out. Pace the rebound. Pace looking, gives the Bowers. Bowers fouled quickly by Koff. Koff is definitely the three-point shooter, but just cannot get him to go in. He's 51% from the three-point line so far in this season. He's missed two clutch three-pointers so far late in this game. Beckham's now firmly in control of this game. It was a bit of a burn burner. I'm pretty sure Coach Sean Cassie has a pretty wicked case of heartburn right about now. But his team came alive when they really needed to. 66-58 after the make by Bowers. He's shooting well so far in the second half. Bowers' second shot is up and nothing but net. 68-67-58. Now a nine-point lead. Stecker inside. Koslowski. Koslowski dribbles back out. Looking inside. Velicki up and good. Almost blocked by Zelinski and a timeout called with 14.4 left in the basketball game. Marion down seven points to the Concordia Falcons. And Concordia so far in this game, uh, in the second half, has, has really played some sloppy basketball. But on the other side of things, a very tightly called second half. And Marion in all sorts of foul trouble. Two players already fouled out, two more with four fouls. And Concordia has taken advantage of it by shooting very well from the free throw line. And that's the end going to be what makes the difference here, Bill, is the Falcons got to the free throw line, and the players who needed to get to the free throw line, Malcolm Bowers, Brian Jackson, and especially the still perfect Mark Pace, has really was the Concordia shot in the arm to get him back in this basketball game. They were always in this basketball game, but they had the longest a 16-point lead only to find themselves trailing by single digits. It's a bit of an embarrassing situation to be in. But in the end, they tightened up and they attacked the free throw line and that's what kept them in the game and that's what's going to win this game for them. Concordia typically shooting 66% of the year. Shooting 76% for this game. 29 of 38. 38 free throw attempts for the Falcons today. As we said before, Falcons got the right players to make those 38 attempts, and it shows here. Inbound off of Donaldson. Who do they call it to? It is Marion basketball. Two seconds went off the clock in the meantime, but 12.4 left, and Marion has the basketball back. Marion needs a lot of things to go right if they really want to win this basketball game. Probably need another, seconds is a another very small turnover window. or two. <laughs> Inversely with the ball between the circles. Now pulls it back out, long three, no good, air ball. And another air ball, and Drew Converse is just not his night. Three air balls, two missed close shots. He doesn't have a single point today. Pace, nobody will defend, and it's going to be Mark Pace dribbling out this basketball game. Concordia wins 67 to 60. Nathan, I think there's only two guys who we can say the players of the game. That's either Brian Jackson or Mark Pace. Who do you have as, as your player of the game? Well, my end, I'm with the side with Mark Pace. Nothing against Brian Jackson. Rebounded at double figures. He stepped up with Steve Zelensky, was shut down at 11 points. But his first, the first 10 minutes of the second half were particularly painful for him. Made a few reckless errors. Didn't pass the ball very well. The second half. I don't want to take any way to get him. He still played a very good game. My choice is Mark Pace simply because 13 of 13 free throw shooting. Mark Pace didn't play very much as compared to what he usually does, but he played enough. He did what he had to do. He got to the hoop. He made the plays. 21 points. 13 rebounds. He could 13, excuse me, 13 of 13 free throws. Four rebounds on the defensive end. He was the one in the end, the game changer that made a difference in the last five minutes. It was like Concordia had a, not a very well second half, but it was those last three minutes that counted. And Mark Pace is the player who really put Concordia over in those last three minutes. So Concordia manages 25 points in the second half and wins by seven after leading by 16 in the first half. And Mark Pace with 13 of 13. Bowers was six for six. Zelinski had a couple of big free throws. Only eight three-point attempts after shooting 22 against Aurora last week. So really getting back to their game and, and winning this one. 67-60, Concordia takes this one home. 
That'll do it for us tonight. For Nathan Kerner, I'm Bill Miller wishing you all a fantastic evening.